Will 2024 be the year Clicks finally wins an FNCS? But to answer that, let's quickly tell the story of his competitive career. Clix has been a staple of the Fortnite competitive community since the World Cup in 2019, and has had periods of dominance, like the World Cup qualifiers, where he would qualify five times, more than stars like Mongrel, Benji, Fishy, and Booga. He became famous for his aggressive playstyle and insane mechanics. Look at how dominant he was. In the World Cup, he would perform admirably, placing 35th in duos with Skeptic, but it was solos where he shined, placing 18th out of 100. In the first ever FNCS, Trios in Season X, he would once again have a strong showing. Going into the sixth and final game, he would be in fourth place by just eight points. A strong game would win him the tournament. And while that epic moment did not materialize, he and his trio would still play seventh. On to chapter 2 where he would see a massive blow up in his audience size, but would struggle until season 5. 18th in squads, 19th in duos, 23rd in solo invitational, and 27th in solo FNCS in season 3. In Stark season, he would play with Bizzle and Illist, and had some great moments like this snipe on day from the car. But in Stark season, he would achieve a mediocre 14th. But in season 5, he would form the trio that would bring him a high high and a low low, Bizzle and Booga. On day 1 of FNCS, they were plagued by inconsistency, but punctuated the day with a win. But they popped off on day 2. With two more wins jumping to 5th, Clix's best FNCS placement up to this point. It's also worth noting he won a Dreamhack duo set lobby with Day in Season 5. It's also worth subscribing if you enjoy this video. We know what happened in Season 6 and we address it in our video on that FNCS. In a spawn beef for Sweaty Sands, Clix, Booga, and Bizzle failed to make it past Heats and split up for Season 7. And from here, Clix went on a bit of a cold streak, 33rd and 18th place in 8 and barely missing out on Grand Finals and Grand Royale. At the start of Chapter 3, things were looking up. He teamed up with Day, who was coming off a strong 2021 with a 4th, 1st, and 2 seconds in FNCS, and joined Clix's org, making the NRG duo. In Season 1, they would do well, placing 7th, but it would come apart in Season 2 with a 16th, which was bad because he needed a great placement to qualify for the FNCS Global Invitational that fall in Raleigh. But he was cooking up a big move, teaming up with Dukes, the 3 time FNCS winner, and they played really well together. Winning an Elite Cup and an FNCS, they were awesome. Playing with consistency and popping when necessary, placing in fourth, his best placement in a long time and good enough for him to qualify for the FNCS Global Invitational in Raleigh, where he was contested. But he and Dukes made the most of the situation, and in one of the best moments of the tournament, they won a game. In Chapter 4, his competitive record was dominated by one story, his ban in Season 2. After teaming up with Veteran and NA Great Scented, it was looking like he was finally going to do it. If you've been watching Clicks and Streams, you're probably not surprised because him and Scented have been grinding. They were grinding and did really well in their first qualifying week, placing fourth. But this duo will forever be a what if because Clicks was suspended for teaming after letting a situation with a stream sniper boil over. He teamed up with Epic Whale, who placed third in Solo World Cup, first in Gamers 8 Global LAN in 2022, and has six FNCS titles titles on North America West, but they managed just a 23rd in Season 3 Grand Finals. But all was not lost as they qualified for the Global Championship in Copenhagen through the last chance qualifier. They just barely missed out on qualifying through the lower brackets to finals. So that is Clicks with 15 appearances, 2 top 5s, 4 top 10s, and many huge moments. We would argue his career has been better than people think, but we think a great duo like Epic Whale, his best is yet to come. And so far in Chapter 5, they've been a mainstay at the top of the leaderboards, making grand finals. And after a bunch of highlight plays, they were in fifth going into the last game, meaning Clix had a chance for his first top three. And they were aggressive, taking height in endgame, but got taken down by Acorn and Colt, so he would be forced to settle for fourth. But if Major 1 made one thing clear, the arrow was pointing up. Comment below what you think Clix's best placement will be in 2024, and whether he will finally win one.